it's still very, very close. And it could really go either way. But the market isn't a big fan of that. They don't like when it can go either way because they don't know what to do, especially the big investors. So a lot of people like to liquidate, a lot of people like to sell off, a lot of people like to get the cash and keep it on hand because they don't know what the future of their investments are going to look like. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and feeling great. Today I want to talk about the spot price of silver dropping back down to the $23 range. I want to talk about gold being down. I want to talk about the stock market being down and I want to talk about the uncertainty building back up 24 hours post election day. Well, we still don't know who the winner is going to be, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate that. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. But today I want to talk about the spot price of both silver and gold. I want to talk about the two precious metals because these last couple of days we've seen them fluctuating we've seen them going up we've seen them going down and the markets are very 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 reactive to everything going on in the world right now so if you watched my video yesterday it was talking about silver and gold and how they're reacting to election day if you didn't see that video i'm not surprised it was completely buried because i'm pretty sure the algorithm misconstrued it with a political video not a big fan of political videos so i'm pretty sure it took a hit for that reason by the way that's why i created the precious metals vip club if you guys have not yet joined and you would like to i will leave the link in the description i will be going live tonight 8 p.m eastern standard time and i'm also posting all of my youtube videos commercial free i do discounts giveaways personalized promo codes shout outs deal alerts and much much more i could do things on my own terms without having to walk on eggshells Link in the description. But yesterday I was talking about how silver and gold were reacting to election day. And we saw both metals begin to move. We saw gold up a little bit. We saw silver up very, very slightly. We saw the stock market on the rise. Same thing went for Monday. We were looking at green across the board. Now here we are, not only on Wednesday, but it's the one day after election day, Mark. And we're actually seeing little bit of a decline. This morning, I was checking the stock market and it was on the way up. But over the last maybe two or three hours, it seems to have been slightly, slightly, slightly declining. Now, as for across the board, we're not seeing everything in the red, but it's looking like it's about to be in the red. And then as for silver, the spot price as I am recording today's video is just under the $24 mark and the spot price of gold is just under the $1,900 mark. So to me, the way I'm interpreting this is that now that an entire day has gone by, we still don't know the results. We still don't know who the winner is. We still don't know who's going to be in office for the next four years. We still don't know the answers that we've been waiting for, and it's unbelievably uncertain right now. And as I said earlier in the video, the markets are extremely quick to react to current events and world news and everything going on within the economy. So moving forward over the next couple of days, as we get closer and closer and closer to the answer, my fingers are crossed that by tonight, we will know who the winner is. And then starting tomorrow, we're going to see the markets really begin to move. And by that I mean, I think if we get a new president, we're going to see the numbers fall. I think the stock market is going to be going down. I think silver and gold spot price are going to be going down. I think a lot of numbers are going to be going down. If we keep the same president, I think the numbers are going to sit tight for a little while. And then over a couple of weeks, we're going to see it slowly, gradually start to rise. Now, by the way, I'm not an expert, not a professional. I'm not a precious metal or stock market expert, professional specialist, none, nothing like that. Not a financial advisor. I'm a guy with a camera, so don't take this as financial advice, and it's definitely not a prediction of the future. 
That's just my honest expectation, especially after observing everything that's gone on these last couple of months. Something that I found is that oftentimes the markets follow the same trends. So when one begins to move, others begin to follow sometimes the same day, sometimes 24 to 48 hours later, sometimes several days or a week or so afterwards. But typically they all move in the same direction maybe not instantaneously or at the exact same time, but they typically move in the same direction. That's just something that I've observed. That's just something that I've noticed. You may or may not agree with me on that, but I go by the numbers and the charts and the graphs. I don't go by how I feel. I go by what statistics and history shows me. So what I believe is going to be occurring over the next couple of days I don't think the spot price is going to move all that much. I don't think we're going to see silver drop all the way down to, I don't know, 21 or 20 or $19. I don't foresee that happening, especially not in the short term. And on the flip side, I don't see it going up too crazy either. I don't think it's going to be going up to $25, $26, $27 or beyond. I do not think that's going to happen just Yet, I think we have a little bit of time before silver does anything crazy. And the same could be said about gold. I do not think gold is going to be falling down to the $1,700 range or even the $1,600 range, which would be insane. I don't foresee that happening. I could be wrong. And by the way, I'd be more than happy to be proven wrong because at that point, I would be able to get even more gold for the same amount of dollars, hopefully, assuming that the premiums don't get driven up, which by the way, if we did see the spot price of both silver and gold fall, I do not believe the premiums would go up too crazy high this time around. I believe that happened earlier in the year for certain reasons I've explained over the last couple of videos, so I will not reiterate, but moving forward, if we see the spot price fall significantly, I'm not talking about a dollar for silver, I'm not talking about $15, $20 for gold, I'm talking about three, four, five dollars for silver. I'm talking about 50, 100, and 150 for gold. If we saw that kind of a drop, I do not believe the premiums would get cranked all the way through the roof again. I could be wrong, but I cannot foresee that happening because I don't believe the stacking demand is going to be there except for those of us who are stacking. I don't believe if that were to occur, the same people who bought in out of hype and fear earlier in the year who were looking to get rich quick or whatever it is that they were trying to do, I don't think they're going to make the same mistake twice. I think they realized earlier in the year. Oh, okay. This isn't necessarily something that should be viewed as a way of making money. This is more of a way of saving money. I'm pretty sure everybody understands that at this point. At least I hope so. So I cannot foresee the same people diving in twice over the course of only seven months. But moving forward away from that, I also wanted to talk about the stock market and how silver and gold might follow that because we have been seeing crazy volatility these last couple of weeks. Last week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we were down, going lower and lower and lower every day that went past. Earlier this week, on Monday, we started seeing green again. Tuesday, we saw even more green, and we were seeing green across the board. Wednesday, aka today, we saw green all morning, all early afternoon, and now that we're in the later afternoon, early evening hours, we're starting to see a little bit of a decline. We're not seeing complete and total red, but we're seeing when it went up, it's starting to come back down. And my honest belief is that I think the uncertainty is building back up. Wall Street was expecting a clear winner last night. We didn't get a clear winner last night. I don't know why they thought we would get one last night, but that wouldn't have happened. And that obviously didn't happen. And here we are. A whole day later and we still don't know and it's kind of neck and neck right now it's it's very very close and to be honest with you logistically speaking it could go either way but I'll keep my political beliefs to myself I just wanted to talk about some of the numbers some of the facts but away from all of that the market is very quick to react to these things and the fact that we didn't get 
an answer when we were looking for an answer. There's a huge, huge, huge portion of this country and the world who were hoping for an answer regardless of what the answer was. They were like, I voted for this guy. I don't care if the other guy wins. I just want to know. That way I can finally begin to move on. We didn't get that answer. We didn't get that clarification. We didn't get the confirmation. We didn't get any announcements. It's still very, very close. And it could really go either way. But the market isn't a big fan of that. They don't like when it can go either way because they don't know what to do, especially the big investors. They don't know if a new guy is going to put new regulations in or it's going to impact their investments or if they're gonna get their taxes increased. So a lot of people like to liquidate, a lot of people like to sell off, a lot of people like to get the cash and keep it on hand just in case. Number one, because for in the event of financial hardships, but two, because they don't know what the future of their investments are going to look like. So with everything going on in the stock market right now, silver and gold, a different market, the precious metal market, oftentimes, like I said, they follow the same trends. When the stock market's going up, silver and gold, a lot of the time they start to go up, especially in the short term. If something moves on Monday, you can expect the other one to start moving maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. And we saw a little bit of a dip today, and now it looks like silver and gold are taking a little bit of a dip. In the grand scheme of things, not a whole lot has changed because silver has essentially been roughly where it's been at for these last couple of months, to be honest with you. I mean, just recently we saw it. In, in September, we saw it go from the $27 mark to the $24 mark. That's not a huge fall. Going from 27 to 24 and then staying there, that's not that big of a move. What I believe a bigger move would be is if silver were to drop down, obviously more than 3 or $4, if we saw it go from $27 down to maybe $21 or $20, that would have riled people up. But a $3 drop or even a $3 jump doesn't get people too crazy. Percentage-wise, that's not a huge fall. But regardless, I think we got to keep our eyes peeled. I think we need to keep our head on a swivel. I think we need to pay attention to everything. If you are not involved in the stock market, I think you should be paying attention to the stock market anyway. You don't have to invest but pay attention. Same goes for real estate. Maybe you are in real estate. Maybe you're in the stock market and you're not in precious metals and you're somehow watching this video. I think you should still be paying attention to the precious metals market. That's just my opinion. It's from my perspective. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing on this channel is financial advice, so do not take it as financial advice. Do your own research. Come to your own conclusions. Do not make a decision based off of my conclusion. Make a decision based off of your conclusion regarding the precious metals. And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And you can watch all of the YouTube videos commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe. New videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. Trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,500, and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal-themed T-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products. T-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stacken T-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug, inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver Kraken coin, which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations 
at no additional cost to you. It comes out of my pocket, not yours. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know. As we get closer and closer and closer to figuring out what the results are, finding out who the president is going to be for the next four years, what do you think silver and gold are going to do in the short term? How do you think that they are going to react? If it goes one way, do you think silver's going to go up? Do you think if it goes the other way, silver's going to be going down? What are your thoughts on the precious metals? And do you believe that many people are going to be selling off some of their investments, parting ways with some of their assets and liquidating to take that cash and put it into the silver and the gold for long-term wealth preservation purposes to use it as a hedge against inflation? Do you think people are going to be gravitating towards the silver and the gold in the near future because of everything that's going on economically right now? Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.